Good evening, everyone. So I'm Akshay, and today I'm going to be presenting about a revolutionary concept, plastic roads. But before I get into the concept of plastic roads, let us all just take a moment and think where 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 all we use plastic today. Literally everywhere, right? This omnipresent invention has taken over every person's life. I can easily tell that I spend more time with plastic than with my family. <laughs> On an average, a person like me, that's an Indian, uses around 11 kg of plastic in a year. And in the Western countries, this is 10 times more. Until now, I was just talking about myself. There are 1.3 billion people just like me in India. So now just imagine how much plastic we produce every day. India alone produces 15,000 tons of plastic every day, out of which only 9,000 of it gets recycled. The rest just goes to the landfill. If we continue to do the same, we are sure to kill the earth in a very short time. Now, I don't think we can easily switch to an alternative. Since we are so used to using plastic, it's better we come up with a new method to deal with the same. Now, who other than civil engineers can save us from this problem? Here comes the plastic roads to the rescue that can solve, save us from two problems. First, the bad condition of roads. Second, the inability to manage plastic waste. The concept of plastic roads was developed in India in 2006. Bitumen, one of the main ingredients used in the surface coats of the road, has polymers whose structure is very similar to that of plastic. Hence, using this technology, 6 to 8 percent of bitumen can be replaced by plastic. By this replacement, for every kilometer of plastic road we lay, we reduce the carbon dioxide emission by one ton. It's also said to improve the tensile strength and the durability, and also does not result in pothole formation. The procedure is really simple. First, we need to collect plastics whose, whose thickness is less than 70 microns. Next, we need to clean it and dry it. Third, we need to shred it into uniform sized strips. Finally, we need to melt it at 170 degrees Celsius and mix it with bitumen and uh, aggregates in the asphalt mixture, and then it's ready for the use. No environmental concern because plastic decomposes only at 270 degrees Celsius. PET and PVC plastics must be excluded from this process. Plastics properties change once it's mixed with uh, bitumen. Hence, it does not decompose or degrade due to, due to heat or uh, light in the future. Some of the success stories, 100,000 kilometers of plastic roads have already been laid in India. Plastic roads have also been built in uh, UK by using the technology made by uh, Toby McCartney. In conclusion, this is a great uh, revolutionary concept in line with circular economy and sustainability. Currently, I'm doing a research on incorporating circularity in public procurement in Netherlands. I hope to incorporate this and bring a change. So don't keep calm. Go build plastic roads and save the earth because we just have one and we can't afford to kill it. Thank you.